what you see in right here, this is Photoshop, obviously, and basically how I do my overlays is I create a document that's 1280 width and then 720 pixels height. Make sure it's in pixels. You can also want to make sure background contents are transparent right here. You're going to click OK. And that's going to leave you with this checkerboard pattern in the background, which basically is Photoshop's way of saying that your background is transparent. Um, so if you had a game there, it would be showing the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what I usually start off with and do a very simple overlay is create some type of rectangle at the top. Now, a lot of people do things like that. It's very simple. As you see, bam, bam, right there. And I usually make sure it's even with the uh, document. That way, if I do a stroke or anything of that sort, you know, you're going to be able to see the stroke and stuff all around. Now, we're just going to be doing a top overlay today. You basically be doing the same thing for a bottom if you wanted to make a bottom. Now, make sure you leave layers are a key. Make sure you leave your layers pretty much, you know, untouched for right now. Create another one. Well, actually, first, we're going to snap on some grids. And all you have to do to do that is click where you see like this. And if you want to see that, you can just do show uh, guides. And this should pop up right there. And all you do is click and drag and it'll bring over the bar. And around center of the document, it's going to snap. You might not be able to see it that well. But um, there's there's a little thing like right about here. And where you see the icon. That's, that's going to tell me that that's center. Then I also do it here. Just out of habit, it also snaps. So th this is telling me right here my center is here. That's a kind of big key for uh, the top of the overlay. This center, uh, the actual document doesn't really matter. Now, what another thing that I do is I will t I'll take another rectangle, and uh, let's just say let's just say that wide. Yeah, sure. And then you can drag that down to go with that one. And then the next thing, I mean, obviously you don't want to you don't want overlay like that. I mean, that's gonna look bad. So you go to the rectangle too, which is a small one you just made. Go over to the um, tool over here, the polygonal lasso, lasso tool. And just wherever you want, click at an angle or whatever, something like that. And then connect it. You'll see a little circle by the lasso where you can connect it. Once it's selected, hit delete. Just kidding, you don't do that. You actually have to make sure the layer is rasterized. So you can either click on the eraser tool and click and it'll rasterize it. Or you can right click the layer and click rasterize. Once you do that, then it allows you to enable, I mean, uh, edit different parts of the selection. So there you go, you got the angle right there. But Jumbo, how are you gonna do that again? Easy. Go over to Rectangle Tool, Rectangle 2 in your layers. Do Control J if you're on uh, Windows. It should be put Command J on uh, Mac. And then there you go, you got the exact same layer, it's right there. So once that layer that you just copied is there, you're gonna go to Edit transform and flip horizontally that's gonna flip it in its spot right there it doesn't flip over an axis or anything so simply cl click shift hold it click and drag until it like snaps there you go and now basically that's the the bar of the overlay you see a lot of these overlays are very simple and if you want you can uh, hold shift and then click select all the layers and then you can merge them by right clicking and hitting merge so now this whole thing is just one whole shape. Now, I mean, it's easy. You can do any color. Just double click the layer. You can choose a color. Let's do uh, let's do like a bluish. Because I like blue. So we'll do a bluish. There you go. And obviously, you know, some people like it like that. I mean, it's very simple. But you can add different effects. Like a stroke. Obviously not that big. But you can add a stroke on there. Just to add different effects. Now, I'm going to cut to something I'm going to show you guys how to do basically a little bit more effects and uh, like the text work and stuff like that okay so now I'm going to be showing you guys the text and stuff like that now basically all you have to do is click on the T for the text uh, type out whatever you want obviously mine's really high right now so it doesn't look that big but I'll just type Jumbo Slice 21 obviously this font looks like crap so you can select it all by control A or command A and you know just choose a font whatever you want Make sure that you like it, obviously. I like this font, so I'm just going to choose that. And usually, you put, like, your name or something there. Obviously, it can be bigger. You know, I could change the height over here. Increase the height of it. But it looks weird, so I'm just going to leave it, like, about right there. And, I mean, that's basically a pretty basic font placement. 
a name placement or something like that when you have a centered out overlay like this and again just to uh, edit it you double click and you can change things like that um, now usually you can do the same thing once you've edited it the, the text like you want it to look really good and stuff or whatever all right now as to make an overlay look a little better or anything like that um you can add simple effects sometimes a uh an inner shadow will give it a, a little more of an effect to where it'll look uh it'll look i guess you could say three-dimensional or you can make it glow just by changing blend modes and stuff and again to get to your effects you just double click on the layer itself and that's basically what i do sometimes i do a pattern overlay just to give it a little bit of texture and what you're gonna want to do with that is if you have a color overlay you're gonna want to go through that those layers to where you'll get the different blendings like right here you see there's a little bit of texture on there but not a lot you also get some funky looking stuff like this i mean see i just completely turned it to like red almost but you can do a blue and then you can also change the opacity of it i think for the pattern i'm gonna change the opacity just a little bit uh, it's not gonna work really well do something like that I guess I mean it's not gonna be the best it's just really simple obviously now you have a problem with the text but we haven't gotten to that yet so basically like I was saying you could just go into the text and you can basically gradient is what I usually use and all, all these gradients don't come with Photoshop uh, you can download them on different sites and you get them for free most of the time I think like these are the only ones that come with Photoshop those first few there and I mean you can still make something nice with it and even if you don't want to you can always customize your gradient at the bottom there I just like choosing from presets to give it different looks something like that and obviously you can't see it so you can put a stroke on there you can do an outer glow just to lighten it up just so it lightens up your text and I mean it's very simple this is not supposed to look extremely amazing or anything. This is just to show you how to do a very basic, basic overlay. And, I mean, basically that's it. Like I said, just copy the layer. I'm going to get rid of these two just to basically show you how it looks when you copied it. So, the layer is copied there. I'll drag it over. And then do add my Twitter again. And as you see, it copies over the effects to where you're still going to get the same effect on there without having to meticulously go through, re-edit it, you know, find out the exact same options that you did. Learn how to spell would be very nice. But yeah, I mean, basically that's it. That's really how to create a very, very simple overlay. Now, one of the problems people have is, um, I've seen on my videos, Jim, uh, I have a black screen over it, or there's a white screen over the overlay when I try to do it. Basically, that can all be solved for the most part by going to file save for web and you're going to want to save it as a png24 and have transparency selected that's basically that's literally all i do and then i just hit save save it to wherever and there you go that's that's your overlay you can literally click and drag it onto anything and it's gonna work for instance see it's right there there's nothing no screen or anything and then you, all you gotta do is resize it it'll scale perfectly fine and there i mean there you go that's the overlay right there i really hope this video helped you guys out if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section below i'll respond to pretty much everything that i know and i'll try to help you the best i can